Member for Kokopo, Araman Tobining Jr. sought answers from the minister during question time today. By Usatru electing president, all ward members or all people. Providing a background of the methods in which previous LLG elections were conducted, the minister said it has always been ward members voting for the LLG presidents. However, he said the option of people voting for the LLG president was open and is something he needs to consult on with the cabinet for approval. We take the paper to uh, cabinet to look at this issue and to come up with the best uh, option. As has always been a case, systems are good. It's always people who corrupt the system. He also took time to highlight the main advantage and disadvantages of using these methods, stressing the disadvantage of ward members voting for the LLG presidents. Now, so far we have uh, experienced two other countries that this particular option is not really working. It's creating lots of problems for our people. Hence, there is need for us to look at the second option. As you know, first option uh, has also resulted in lots of uh, vote of no confidence, which is allowed for under Section 12 of the uh, 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 Local Level Government Administrative Act of 1997. PCP Governor Harlan Bad intervened with a supplementary question and pointed out the need to change the current system of ward members voting for presidents to the one where people vote for them. The good minister and the government must recognize the right of the people to mandate someone to represent them. We cannot take that right away and give it by proxy to ward members who are also open to influence. So I'd like a commitment from the good minister. He says the election of LLG presidents directly affects the stability of provincial governments and called on the minister and the government to give a greater thought to this. Ruth Rongola, TV1 News.